Hello ladies and gentlemen to what I've been doing for the last god knows how long in my life and this is pretty much why I haven't done much Atlas lately. I've just been really playing this game too much and I thought I'd show you some fun things I'm about to do. If I can actually do it. I don't know. So there is a sneaky th reason I am on here today and that right reason is I was just about to go to bed. It's late at night. Leave me alone. But, as you can see, there's this person right here. Now, I'm assuming he's trading because he borrowed, like, a million dollars off me. Well, he didn't borrow a million dollars. He did. He asked me to, he asked to borrow, like, a little bit of money. Like, I think he was expecting, like, $100,000. And he said, hey, I'll pay you back the money I, I borrowed plus 50%. So I was like, here, have a million dollars. So now he owes me $1.5 million dollars on top of other stuff but anyway like I was saying I was about to go to bed I noticed he was uh, still online in discord so I was like maybe he's playing this game and he was so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna see if I can find him and I think he may be trading plus look how beautiful this game is why is my uh, my bloody missile doors are open <laughs> let's look at it this isn't even my best ship. Well, it's my best fighter, but it's not even my best ship. I only just got this. I haven't upgraded any of the weapons. I have to upgrade the weapons. I have to upgrade the jump drive, which the quantum drive, which is what I'm using now. There's a whole bunch of stuff I've got to do with this. But my best ship that I own is a Carrick. I don't want to talk about how I got it. I, didn't, I, I totally didn't spend real money on it, and I totally didn't spend a ridiculous amount of real money on it. Not at all. None of that happened. Those... Um, those uh, doors being open is really bugging me, so I just need to go to... Is it under here? Shima? No, it's not under there. Oop, I don't want to zoom in. That's really annoying when that happens. Where are my weapon controls? I don't remember. Um, is it here? Items? No. It's not there. Uh, let's just change this weapon to... <laughs> Target status heat? No, alright, fine, go to target status. You, do you have my weapons? There you are. Yeah, there you go. Turn the missiles off. I've only got four for some reason. Doesn't matter. There we go, my missile doors are now closed. That makes me happy. Anyway, have I mentioned what I believe Robert's doing yet? <laughs> I think what he's doing is trading. Um, I don't know, he had a close encounter in the chat or something. I haven't been paying attention to it. But if he's trading, and if he's listened to me, the best trade route that I have found is um, here. You fly from uh, no. Shit, do I have enough fuel? Uh, I didn't check that. I may not have. Eh. I hope I have enough fuel. I should have enough fuel. I'm not going to run out of fuel, am I? Nah. I wouldn't run out of fuel. I didn't check if I had enough fuel before I jumped. That's generally a bad thing. I should make it. She's just going to be close. Um, yeah, it'll be fine. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Uh, anyway, so the best trade route I've found... Can I not... Can Excuse me, map. Stop being... Sometimes this, this game is a bit buggy. Alright. I don't know why the map is... Stop moving over there! Alright, you know what? Fine. You win. I, I won't show the people the damn route. Lies. I will show them. I am going to show them. You can't stop me. Um, I don't think I've got enough. Uh, I should have just enough to get the person. Okay, so the best trade route I found. Stop moving! So annoying. Okay, there's a city on Hurston called Lawville, and you go to Ariel, and you pick up like a little bit of Laranite, and then fill up the rest of the ship with titanium, and then fly back to Hurston. It's like a 30 minute round trip, and you can make like 100,000 credits doing that. And that's. And if not more, you can make a lot more if you can get a full load of Laranite, which you usually can't. <laughs> but that's usually how I do that. That's how I do most of my trading. Am I actually going to make it? Oh, jeez. So cool. Man, I, that, I, I push that way closer than I'd like to. Alright, so... Now, where is the space station? Uh, oh, I've got to find Lawville first. Where are these Lawville? Lawville, where are you? Lawville! Laurelville. You find it? It looks like a home plate in bait from baseball. That's how I know where the cities are. Um, boom, 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 boom. 
Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Let's see the Rufus. Blah blah blah. There's two there. There it is. God damn it, it's on the other side of the planet. Alright, so Lawville is there. The station is generally in orbit somewhere, so let's just quantum drive over there. And <laughs> Robert, he's talking people. Uh <laughs> good on him. Alright, let's go, let's just go. I'm not even gonna chat to him, I'm just gonna strafe him. I wanna scare the crap out of him. Assuming I can even find him. Like this is a big system. It's like people could be anywhere. Alright, that's enough. Right, get out of hyperdrive. Uh, can I have my ship back? Get out of hyperdrive! There's Lawville. We're not going there. Big city. Nighttime. Can barely see it. Uh, Johnny Busby is required. I don't care if you need combat assistance. Stupid AI. I'm assuming it's AI. I think it's AI. Uh, there it is. That's where I want to go. Everest Harbor. Why do I want to go there? Well, you see. Oh no, he's leaving! He's ruining it! No! Oh no, now he has to know I'm here. I don't want him to leave, but I do want to shoot at him. No! No! I wonder if he'll answer the call. I don't even know if this works. Alright, well anyway, I'm gonna go here. We need to get fuel. Because fuel is a thing. Um, okay, let's just move in here. What are you? James? Hey James, how you going? Okay, now let's go here. Just get a com link. Everest Harbor. Oh, there's Robert. I don't know if I can hear him though. Go away, Robert, you're in the way. Gone. Well, I'm in a safe zone, so I don't think you can actually attack me. Just saying. Oh, apparently you can. Uh, stop that! I thought I disabled that stupid head tracking nonsense. Why are you shooting at me? Fine. Can you stop the head tracking game? Stupid head tracking. I should have been able to win that fight. <laughs> Thought I disabled that. Uh, one sec, guys. I gotta go see. Hold on. Um, let's go with. How do I do this? How do I do this? Options. Head tracking. Target. Transmission. Blah blah blah. Toggle. Disable. Just don't have it on at all. All right. I doesn't work, I don't like it. I gotta figure that out. Alright, I'll be back in a sec. He's gonna land before you even get to shoot him, you know that, right? <laughs> <laughs> For reference sake, everybody. Because I started recording this, Robert. Sack Cancer robbed him of like... $100,000. I think he's a lot better than me, but... Mr. Link coming, he's probably a big one to you. I got your back, buddy. Except my aiming is terrible. I'm hitting him. I've got shots registering, Robert. Hitting a security alert. Yeah, I think you've been glasses apart for starting the attack. I am currently escaping from a missile. Give me a moment. I'm also going to pass out. Okay, I lost the missile. Launched a missile. Hey, missiles away! And he launched like all these gown of edges, that's funny.
Eh. Eh. I need practice at this, Robert. Not even flying, I was literally just standing still. <laughs> oh no! Oh, we collided. <laughs> I'm guessing he survived that. Yeah, by the look of things, yeah. He he tore straight through my ship, <laughs> and he was fine. Are you telling me I'm all alone on this? You are all alone. You, what have you done? I will go out there as fast as possible. I don't think I can last that long. I believe in you, Captain. I believe. This is our one chance. He won't fall for this again. Ugh. But I have black screen and no noise. I'm out of crash. Nope, I'm alive. I had to had to bail because my shields went down. You bailed? Well not really, I just had to turn my back and run away for a second while my shields recharge! Oh. I need, this is why I need to upgrade my shields. They would be recharging by now. There we go. Yeah. Oh, More forward I'm shields. The, I'm at the, um, you're a bad person station. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, you're not going to get any assistance from me. Good luck. I'm dodging missiles here. Hey, I got missiles too, you little shit. And no fucking pad ram at me, you little not. I want to see if I can distract him a little bit at chat. Maybe I can push his ego so he'll start typing. If you feel like he's not even gonna pay attention to the chat. <laughs> if he's half as good as I think he is, he's probably gonna be typing with one hand and killing you in the other. <laughs> Try to lock this on. I think he's too close. Yeah. I think we're both fighting in sabers. This. <laughs> I'm not actually paying attention to my target screen because it's out of my view. He's flying into the sun! Don't use that trick! That's a nasty <laughs> trick! <laughs> oh! Ah, I got blown up. Oh, he's what he was down to like one wing. <laughs> I blew up half his wing. That was fun. Okay, well, I, ha I have a better understanding of fighting. <laughs> I, I really don't like the ship. What's up, weather? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I like fighting in this game. See, I think it was worth my us getting a bunch of money and then buying fighters and stuff. Even though you're using a free fighter, but whatever. It is what it is. Ugh. There we go, Robert. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I think that's going to be it for this first episode. Got to, uh, got to, got to shoot at somebody that robbed Robert. Unfortunately, we didn't get to avenge him because I'm not good at shooting at, at the space combat stuff yet. 
that was only technically the second time, seeing as earlier was the first time I got blown up, and then the second time I got blown up again. So, I had fun. Did you have fun, Robert? Oh, yes. Yes, like I said, I have a mixed feeling about this guy. <laughs> On one hand, I love it. On the other hand, I hate him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, he gave you a reason to do some stuff and things, I suppose. Yep. I'll claim. You got to shoot at him. I get a lot of fight time in <laughs> Peter Mays <at> school. <laughs> I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna fast travel that one. But yeah, that's gonna be this episode, guys. I hope this sort of explains what. Well, actually, it does it because I haven't actually been doing this. I've been trading. This had nothing to do with why I haven't been doing Atlas videos or anything for a, a week now. Um, but yeah, as you can see, it's a beautiful game. I've only, yet, I haven't even shown you the planet. You got a quick look at Orville from space. There's like. I don't know, like, like four other cities or something that are massive in this game. Uh, there's stations, there's space, there's pirate stations. There's a prison gameplay loop, which one day me and Robert will have to do. We tried doing it before. At least now we kind of know the route. <laughs> I, I totally didn't spend three hours sitting on a planet's surface waiting for Robert to parkour his way out of prison or anything. Oh, I, I definitely know the route, okay? <laughs> I, I can speed run that thing. There we go. <laughs> But yeah, if you like this episode, leave a like. If you didn't, do the other thing. If you want me to stop playing this game and start playing more Atlas, probably not going to happen. I will be playing more Atlas, because I actually enjoy that, but at the moment I'm enjoying this too. So, uh, if you haven't already subscribed, all that other fun stuff, probably more Star Citizen stuff coming in the future. Uh, if Robert's down for it, I think he will be. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah, yeah. As long as, you know, I don't throw my monitor out the window because of it. <laughs> this game. Yeah, this game can be a little bit uh, frustrating at times. Especially when you do something stupid like Robert does and puts a hundred thousand, uh, puts a million dollars worth of cargo into a ship when I've told him not to do that because the game will occasionally like to uh, crash and then you lose all your money <laughs> and your hard earned cash and then you have to go hey Smokey you wanna, you wanna chuck us a cup a hundred thousand dollars and I'll pay you back and then I'm like sure here's a million pay me back 1.5 <laughs> yep. to give you an idea guys a million dollars with a very high like five million dollar ship takes about six or seven hours of non-stop gameplay to do and six or seven hours of no hiccups is not very common so a million dollars is definitely no pocket change. And that, Robert, is why I only, you know, play for like three hours at a time and then go off and do other things. <laughs> yeah, but I'm the, I'm the first officer, not the captain. I don't get that common sense in me. That's why you're the captain. I'm the captain. That's the way you're it the is. Captain. Fair enough. God damn it, this, this elevator took forever. I wanted to quickly show off the people the reason why I started playing this game again. And it's because I spent stupid money <laughs> on a certain ship. And that's how I'm actually going to end this episode. I, I know I already said goodbye and did the outro. I'm probably just going to add like another 10, 20 minutes. And I could probably do a separate video. But, whatever. <laughs> I don't. Why am I going further away from my ship? I'm going further away from it. I'm two kilometers away from it now. Yeah, two, two and a half, three thousand meters away from it. Did I just go to the wrong thing? I did. I went to pad three. Oh my god, I'm an idiot. <sighs> Robert. <laughs> Face palm. Alright, I'm going to skip to the ship because you don't want to record me sitting through an elevator that has gone six freaking kilometers, well, nearly six kilometers away from the goddamn place I'm supposed to be. I did a dumb. Alright guys, now that I've gone to the right hangar, this is the ship that I spent money on, and it's amazing. I don't regret my decision, but at the same time, I sort of do. <laughs> what do you think? Do you like my new ship, Robert? Well, it's not new anymore, but it's still new, and I just I don't I don't. When I look at it, I do my absolute best not to think about the money, <laughs> which always puts a smile on my face once you put the money out of it. Oh, yeah. You know what kind of puts a bit of a damper on my mood is that about five days after I bought it, they made it purchasable in-game. 
Yeah, but it's the most expensive ship to buy in game. It would have Second taken us. Most. Well, it's like 30 million, like 26 million to be exact. Yeah. Yeah, the, the, the 890 jump, the luxury yacht's like 32 million. <laughs> but yeah, like, if you want, like, I suppose, what, if you're making, what, a million dollars every five or six hours? Yeah, but then every other time I lose it. Yeah, no. it, it's a hard, so. It's a hard slog in this game, to be honest. But yeah. This is the this is the car hanger, and then you come through here. This is going to be a quick, crappy tutorial that I walk through because you know, long video is already long. Here is the cargo, one of the cargo pods, and it goes through. And when you actually put cargo in the ship, it actually fills up. It's pretty cool. I think that's cool. Is there anything else at the bottom of my ship? I don't remember, other than the cargo pods. It's been so long since I've run down the back of this ship. I don't remember actually what's in it. Uh, there's no, some there's, uh, space suits. There's a weapons locker there, which does work apparently. I did not know that. <gasps> that is cool. <laughs> I didn't know that hat that did that. There you go. You learn something new every day. Uh, what's over here? Aft turret. Oh, that's right. The bottom turret is down here. There's an aft turret. The, the, the bottom turret. Whatever. Can I get out of the turret room? I don't want to be in the turret room. Get me out. Get me out. There is a proper elevator. Um, yeah, so we'll use the proper elevator. We'll go quickly and have a look at the next level. Come on, Mr. Elevator. Come down. There we go. Uh, where are we? Habitation deck? We're on the sub deck. So let's go habitation deck. Quickly. Thank you. Habitation deck. We got this big thing. I don't know what that is. That's just the. That's the spare tire. I don't know what the hell it is. It's oh, that's the medical room. <laughs> I think that's the cat scanning machine thing you Bob. Let's go in here. This is my favourite place. I just come in here whenever the doctor's not on duty, and I just go into this room and I raid these cupboards and stuff. You know, just just for a quick night cap scanning thingy. You know, you can actually go. You actually go in the scanning thing when you tell it to heal you. You can heal yourself there too. Of it. I do know that, but I don't think I've done. I did. I did it the first time you gave me a tour. Oh. I didn't know that. That's pretty cool. Uh, what do we got over here? Over here we got the mess hall. The people eat. Yummy, yummy, yum. And windows. Windows to see out. It's cool. And then this is like the worst tour of this ship ever. But it's not supposed to be a proper tour. I wasn't even supposed to do it. Uh, what's here? Toilet. This is where Robert likes to go and fall out of the ship sometimes. Well, actually, he uses my toilet to do that. But yeah, never go into the captain's bathroom, ever. <laughs> he's, Just he's don't. Bunk, bunk beds for the crew. They got little cargo thingies. Come over here. I said over here. Open the door. Oh no, I got to tell it to open. Okay. Showers. This is where I fell out of the ship, so I don't come in here very often. Um, there's a sticky note saying no touch. So it makes me want to like, you know, touch it all. Touch, touch, touch. Tell me not to touch things on my own ship. How dare they? You're going to open automatically, you are? Yep. Weird shaped pool table. So people have an excuse when they lose. Uh, what else we got? We got the captain's quarters. Here. Got my own desk and the computer. Little window. So I can see out. Uh, there's my crappy little bed. I got my teddy bear. Hello, Mr. Teddy. Uh, storage. Storage private toilet and shower where Robert dies a lot. Mirror. Apparently I'm a vampire. Can't see me in the mirrors. That's just the way the, the universe works apparently at the moment. Yeah, they're cheating. They're cheating guys. Here's the bottom level of the bridge. This is where the pilot sits and the co-pilots. Then we run over here. <laughs> we click on this little button so he gets a little service elevator to the second level of the bridge because we're too lazy. Bam! Uh, yeah, up. Come on. Go. It takes a minute. There we go. Not very useful in a, if you're in a panic situation. Uh, we've got one console here. This is a turret console. This is a great big globe, which actually does sometimes show you the route you're flying, doesn't it? In the middle. I think, yeah, it does, but it's it doesn't really show you much besides a, a line, you know. So. Yeah, it's weird. Uh, this is the captain's command center station thingy, my Bob. This is what Robert likes to use to fly my ship whenever he gets the chance. 
doesn't feel like he's trying to usurp my position. These are things that shall never be used on my ship. No one escapes. Everyone goes down with the ship. And uh, while everyone's busy going down with the ship, I'm just going to go over here. And I may enter what's parked in here. And then open this button. And this is what this is. Is a hangar bay. Look, the door opens. And you'll be out you take off and fly away while the rest of the crew is fighting. I totally don't use the skateboards. No one uses the skateboards. This is a drone bay. There's going to be drones. There is no drones at the moment. Not implemented. Move. <laughs> Over here is... Robert claimed this as his as his quarters, even though there's no bed in here. Um, I kind of like that he wanted... That, that little workstation room. Remember that? The 3D printer thing in it? Yes. Yeah. I, um, I like that he's in the disgusting part of the, the greasy mechanical part of the ship. Can I open the damn door? <laughs> I didn't walk out the door when it opened, so now it's not recognizing me. I am the captain! Go over here. Open, open. Okay, come around here. I think the turrets are back there, aren't they? I can't remember. Uh, yep, there's a port turret. Uh, this goes to here overlooks the whole engine bay which is a cool little thing go in the engine bay <laughs> we at least ran sack out of ammo in that fight sucker <laughs> um engine bay here there's a sec bottom level to the engine bay it's pretty cool this is like the worst tour and it's like just like doubled the length of my episode Robert <laughs> got entrance bays to hydrogen fuel I don't know why you need that, but it's a thing. It's cool. Let's go up. What have I got left to show them, Robert? Do you know? Mm. Oh, that little that room on top. You got the bunk beds and all that. No, no, I've done the bunk beds. The, the big fancy looking room that like got zero oh, yeah, yeah, at yeah. the moment because they haven't implemented uh, exploration in the game yet. Elevator. I like this, you can see. I didn't close the hangar bay. That was silly of me. Okay. Uh, technical deck. So we've got a cartography deck. Uh, where's the door? It's on that side. <laughs> Boom. Look at this. This is awesome. I hope in the future they put like a little blip on it that shows you your current position in the system. The system. They're also putting multiple systems in through gateway travels at some point. I don't know. Whatever. They'll, they'll get there eventually. Hopefully, one day. Probably not. Who knows? But that'd be cool if they showed you position and your routes and all that stuff going through that. I reckon that'd be cool. What do you think, Robert? You think that'd be cool? I do. I like the idea of going from one galaxy to the other, taking a bit of time. Yeah. I mean, and since you can sleep in this game and the ship stays there, it can actually, if they wanted to, make it a multi-day trip. And. Yeah kind of get full immersion. That'd be cool. Living in there, apparently it's supposed to make it so you can put like habitation pods down and stuff like that too. On planets, land claims. Hopefully. I don't know. We'll see how they go. <laughs> they got very big ambitions. I think they and they keep adding more. It's stop adding ambitions and just finish the game. <laughs> that's weird. I don't know what that glitch is all about, but that's pretty cool. Uh, there. Uh, I'm walking on the top of my ship, but that's about it. That's pretty much everything. There was this ship to do, it was a quick little tour, I just fell down to the cargo bay, that's fine. Um, so that's it for this episode now, I'm truly done, hope you enjoyed it, did, like, comment, subscribe, all that other fun stuff, we've already had that conversation, and as always, have a good one, and we'll see you next time. Bye! Bye. That's right Robert, you say bye to the people. You say